Hey what's up guys it's Apollo Chia here back at you with a new short movie the name of the short movie is what if Naruto the change of fate and yeah guys it is a completely off story of Naruto in my own way I hope you enjoy today's story and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and shout out to my little brother because it was again his idea for the story and there is no ship whatsoever in this one yes for the first time Naruto is going on without any ship and there's a good reason and I will tell you later on in the story and please ignore the background snoring noises it is 2 a.m. and me and my brother share a room so yeah it is there so please don't mind that and please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and without any further ado let's begin with our today's story our story begins Four years after the QB attack, in the alleys of Konohagakure no Sato, the alleys in which the damned lived in, the alleys which the civilian usually avoided, the red light area, where the rear survival and hunger of Konoha was shown, and the dark side of Konoha well resided. As a four-year-old child with blonde hair and tan skin and blue eyes could be seen running with a loaf of bread in his hand. Hey, stop that child, said uh, Baker as he was chasing after the kid. As, no, as the kid was none other than Naruto Uzumaki, as he turned into an alleyway, but suddenly the alleyway was a closed one. Damn it, I turned too early. As before he could found a way outside, he was trapped and cornered by the Baker himself. Well, demon, Today is the day you pay for this crime and all the others you committed. <laughs> you think I'm afraid of you? Think again, Naruto said as he held out a rusted kunai and glared at the man as the man laughed. <laughs> What's a pansy like you gonna do to me, huh? You think I'm afraid of you, kid? I'll tear you apart here. Try it, said Naruto as the man lunged towards Naruto with a knife in his hand, but Naruto was able to dodge it and slashed at his neck with that rusted kunai. The slash was successful but since it was rusted it did not do the job but a fatal wound was left there. If not attended he could die. You damn brat you'll pay for this. Hm. Only if you catch me. As the said child dashed away. Unknown to him an Anbu was watching this. A blank mask Anbu. As he followed the child silently as Naruto was in his alley where he and some of the other of his friends who were also orphans lived. Here you go, Fu. Now Fu was a green haired girl with tan skin. She came here with a caravan. She says she was from a village known as Taki. She was the same age as Naruto. Her family was there but they didn't like her much. So she ran away, escaping through a carriage that traveled out goods to the others. And she got debunked here in Konha, stranded. So Naruto took her in. And aside with them was Kara, who was from Suna. He was one year younger than them. He, well, he said that he ventured out on his own. And when he woke up, he was here when Naruto found him in the woods just outside of Konoha's gate. These three were the only ones that lived there. Here, I got this loaf of bread. I hope this will be enough, said the four-year-old. As those two nodded and ate down the bread. As it was getting colder since it was turning October soon. So they needed warm clothes but they didn't have any. As the hidden Anbu saw this and returned back, back towards his lair where his master resided. As he bowed in front of him, this man was none other than Danzo Shimura himself. What news do you bring me? Today's sigh, my lord, said a ten-year-old sigh. I have been following this kid. He is our Jinchuriki but he is rotting away in the hell as we call that place the deepest pits of Konha 
Hmm, so he was there. I was searching for him. How did you manage to track him down? He stole a loaf of bread. And not only him, two others are there as well. He seems to be taking care of them. I see. So, your suggestion? An opportunity, Danza Sama. It seems as Hiruzen Sama as well as the others don't care about that boy anymore. It is a perfect opportunity for you to have your weapon. Need I remind you that boy only holds the soul. But my lord, have you forgotten? One needs souls for everything, right? What do you mean? Remember, my lord, you taught me this. Soul has the ability to, as Tanzo's eyes widen, to regenerate chakra. So the QB is gathering chakra again. All those years quietly. And that wild, untamed chakra is just returning to the nature when they use it. You are a genius, Sai. Bring them here. As after that, Sai left. Danzo while contemplating his own deeds. As Sai had different thoughts in his mind. He was going to run away, but now he needed some help. He knew that much. And he found his help. He was going to train them, and when the time was right, he was gonna build himself alongside these the idiots along with him. Just in far enough so that they can live their own secluded lives or go their own ways. As I in appeared in front of them, Yo, he said, Who are you? Nord said, bringing out his rusted kunai again. Calm down, kid. I'm here to give you an opportunity. Nardo's eyes narrowed. What opportunity? You all people lie. Even your kage lies. Nardo said, with disgust in his voice. Because, well, in his eyes, the man, the risen Sardobi, Santaim Hokage, did lie to him when he told him that he will come to visit him all those years ago, which was two years ago more specifically. Listen kid, we will give you food, shelter, and we will train you, hone your skills, but you have to follow our master. So I said, why should I follow one's will? No, you have to follow him to become strong. And then you'll be allowed to choose your own. But how about that? Hmm. Fine. Nor do you. Are you sure about this? Said Fu. <sighs> Gara is sick. You are getting weak. I don't see much of a choice. If we live out here, the winter is coming. We might die out because of the cold, if not of hunger. We have no choice. We have to do this. Narda said, as he shaked Sai's hand, accepting his offer. Time skip. That was more than 10 years ago. Narda was currently 14 years of age, as he has become a legend in amongst his ranks. An Anbu that was so proficient that he was given the first ever separate mosque aside from the root division the black anbu mosque he was called the swat anbus as naruto sai as well as gara and fu were all the part of this squad as they all has become a family and danzo was like a mentor to them while danzo was hard on his main root anbu he was quite lenient with them giving them their own emotions, and Danza finally saw the power of emotions in them. Them being attached to themselves was one thing holding the team more proficiently than his goons that he had created all those years ago. And he had a mission for them today. Listen carefully, SWAT team. I want you to go and kill Orochimaru. He's situated amongst the rice country. He is going to start his own village, known as Sound Village. That is a threat to Konoha because of his grudge against the Sun Time. As Naruto nodded, it will be done, Danza Sama. Good. I trust in all of your abilities. If anything goes wrong, my route is there. Waiting for your orders. Hi. As Naruto and his team left, as their commander sighed and said to Naruto, Naruto, 
You know what I told you, right? Last night. Flashback. Naruto was in his room when Sai came. Oh, uh, Lidusuma. Call me Sai, Naruto. I told you many times that whenever we are alone, you should call me by my name. Oh, yeah. Seems like it is out of habit, since we're almost all of our time out, of, out doing our job. I know, Naruto. It can be tough, but it is what it is. It is what we do. Right? Yeah, I guess you're right. So, what can I do for you? Listen, Naruto. You know, I told you long ago about our plan, right? That you can make your own decision when the time is right. It is time now. Listen, I have been thinking of getting away. Away from all of this. Leaving everything behind. I don't want to kill meaningless people. And turning them into us. I know what you mean, Nissan, but... Are you thinking of betraying Danzo-sama? If it comes to that, then yes. Danzo is not a good man. He knows your secret. That's Naruto's eyes, but he, he knows that. The Q... Yes. Don't say his name. He knows. He knows about Fu as well. He just wants his own weapon. He's waiting for the perfect time to get into your head, Naruto. And Fu's as well. And so as could be said for Gara. You have to get out of here. Nobody in Konha can be trusted. Not nobody. I... I... I know. But... Is it... Is it possible for us to get out? To be honest, I don't know. But tomorrow is a mission coming. That will be the best way out. How so? I'll tell you once we get there. Just follow my lead, okay? Alright. End of the flashback. As now we see the Swadon team there at the site. They were camping and tomorrow they were going to carry out their missions. Which was to eradicate Rojimar by infiltrating his base. Listen everyone, said Sai. We're going to go over this. We're going to create our blood clones, which are going to die in our stead. And once we leave, you can either stick with me or we can go on our own ways. As Naruto looked at all of them, I guess we'll stick with you then. Really? Yes. Listen, we have been a family, Sai. And I think we should stick together with one another. We are the strongest team after all. As Sai smart. Yeah, you're right. As after that, the next morning came, and they waited till the noon then, and then they struck, swiftly going through the securities, cutting everyone down in their path, until they reached Orochimaru. But there was no Orochimaru there, just only a clone who poofed away. This is a trap, said Sai, as suddenly they were all knocked out, and when they woke up, Naruto, Sai, Fu and Gara all were chained and all of them had suppression seals on them so they couldn't use their techniques mainly Gara who couldn't use his sand anymore damn it I can't use my sand it's alright Gara do you think you can betray me leave me behind after all I had done for you all especially you Sai quite a disappointment you 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 have destroyed so many lives, Danzo. We just wanted our own bill. And you wanted that to be taken away from us. If it wasn't for my idea to create this division, you wouldn't have. I knew all along. I just wanted to see how you wanted to play the cards out. As Sai's eyes widened. You see, I have been the one with the upper hand here. You cannot betray me. Nobody can. In the end, I am still the shadows of Konoha, lurking everywhere while being ignored. As Sai was then stabbed straight through the heart by a kunai that was laced with poison, Snarto and the others yelled out in agony as they saw their big brother figure die. No matter what, you guys go out there. And live your lives. I know. Ave, just trust me. Kai said Sa as all of his ink beasts were released, and all of the explosive tags that he was carrying around his body became visible. 
I told you I'll take you down with me, you son of a bitch. No, as three tags activated on Fu, Nardo, and Kara. Protection tags. As the whole place was destroyed. Donzo and, well, Orochimaru being the nearest to Sai were literally obliterated. And the three of them, well, they were saved. Naruto woke up. No! As he saw the rubble and destruction everywhere. Naruto, we have to go, said Gara. Yes, we, we have to leave. As the three of them left, leaving their big brother's dead body there. They couldn't retrieve it. They couldn't let his sacrifice be in vain. So they had to leave him behind. As they disappeared in the night, moving along in the shadows, time skip. One month later. It has been one month as the three of them has disappeared from the face of the earth as it seems. As they go towards Danzo's hidden lair, we see a more bandaged and bruised up Danzo. And Orochimaru, a brand new one, as if nothing happened, was there. Hmm. I can't believe they got away. That damn bastard had many attacks up his sleeve, Danzo. He was my prodigy. He always has some underhanded tactics and was able to surprise me till the very end. <sighs> what a loss. You, Danzo Shimura, feeling remorse? No, you goddamn idiot. I feel pity. He could have been a useful weapon and tool for Gonha. But all of his potential was destroyed because of his old greediness. And he destroyed the mindsets of three potential strongest weapons and shinobis as well. But sooner or later I will get them. What if we can help you, Danzo? Said a voice from the grave as it rose from the ground. It was a plant-like creature, half black, half white, with green hair. Who are you? Ah, I know you. You're Zetsu, right? The one from the Akatsuki. The new organization group that has been going around and becoming larger as we speak. What do you want from us? Said Danzo, cutting both of them in. I want it to give out an invitation to join our group to Orochimaru. But you, Danzo Shimura, can be invited as well. What if your little bestie group is a threat to my village? We are not a threat to you, but to the Junchurikis. They are the reason why there are so many bloodshed and war. They need to be destroyed. And the only way to seal them is to seal all of them in the tent tail husk. Once and for all, it was created by the Sage of the Six Bat to seal away those nine damned beasts. Hmm. Why would we seal such powerful demons? They cannot be tamed. Many have tried and failed. Even Sage himself did. But to no avail. They were sealed at once, but due to human's curiosity, they were released. I was the guardian chosen to protect it. And now, since it is lost, I have been gathering the Akatsuki for this purpose only. Hmm, and what will be our reward? Anything you want. Immortality. The ultimate power. Anything. As both of the greedy men looked like, they had their own fantasies that they wanted to fulfill. Okay, we will join. Perfect. Here are the robes. And once everything is set, we will contact you through these rings. As the rings were given to them, and that's who disappeared. What do you think, Orochimaru? A perfect opportunity, Danzo. A perfect opportunity to mingle with otherworldly and other extraordinary individuals that we may or may not have seen or witnessed their potential yet. Hmm. I just want to know if this get anything you want is true or not. I will be cautious and playing safe on the sidelines. Hmm. You wouldn't be if you weren't Danza Shimura. You know me too well. As both of them parted their own ways, going back to doing what they were doing. 
scene change. While Naruto and his group were hiding with enough funds and supplies that could last them one or two years, we go back towards Konoha, the Hokage office, as Hiruzen Sarutobi finally remembered something important. Oh shit, Naruto. Minato and Kushina, they will be returning soon. Shit, how am I going to tell them about this? Said Hiruzen, he has fucked up big time. He did not visit their son once, then once he visited recently only to find out there was no child such as Naruto Uzumaki existing there. Then once he tracked down the records, all of the traces have been removed. As if the child did not exist in the first place, who could have done this? Someone with great power, someone from the council, and he was damn sure he wasn't the one. The child itself was turned into a ghost now, and soon the knock was heard on the door. As a bright yellow flash appeared there, he could see it. Oh, damn it. Please, Kamisama, give me strength. As the door opened to reveal Minato Namikaze, Kushino Uzumaki, and Menmo Uzumaki Namikaze, with Jiraiya and Tsunade. Hello, Sensei. Oh, hello, Jiraiya. Why the long face? Aren't you happy to see us? Said Kushina, I am, I truly am. It's just that your son, Naruto? What happened to him? He turned to a ghost. What do you mean by that? Sensei, said Jiraiya, as Tsunade was confused as well regarding her grandson. <sighs> Listen, Naruto, all his records and everything about him is removed, like someone wanted him to be not remembered. I do not know who, but nobody, not even I, was able to remember him unless a few months back I started to remember. So you mean someone costed a powerful enough genjutsu to all of you to not remember him? Yes, who could do such a thing? Where is my son, Hiruzen? said Kushina, as Tsunade was also quiet. I am sorry, but I don't know. I tried to. I know, said a voice as the door bursted open, revealing Danza Shimura. I'll tell you everything. And I believe someone from the Uchiha clan is behind this. What? But why would anyone from the Fogaku's clan would do this? Said Minato. Power, Minato. What else? Power. It can do anything you want. Once you get a taste of it, you don't want it to go away. You want more. You crave more. Take it from a warmonger shinobi. It was from Anuchiha. I as well was surprised when I remembered about your son. A few months back. And he was with my root in a SWAT division. What? Yes. And I do not know what happened, how did this happen and how did he got here, but he was there. What happened to him? Where is he? He's on the run. What? He became a fugitive, Minato. He's on the run. As Menma was shocked. He can't be. My, my little brother. He was supposed to meet us here, Dad. He, he told us he, he, he was here. I told you it was a bad idea. Oh no. Menma, calm down. We'll, we'll find him. We'll find him soon. We're going to have to talk to Fugaku about this. Shit. Thought Danzo. Anbu, as Kagashi arrived. It's good to see you, Sensei. You as well, Kagashi, but... Have you... Yes, I was also trying hard to remember, like I was forgetting something important for the many past years, but... I... I don't know. I... I forgot. And suddenly, a few months back, I remembered. I tried to search for him high and low, but I couldn't find him. All the tracks and records about him have been removed like he doesn't even exist. How can this be? Minato and Kushina fell down to the ground. As they grabbed their head with both of their hands, shocked and quite disturbed by the fact that someone would deliberately erase their son's tracks and records just to get back at them and making their son go ghost like he wasn't even existing. We have to track this man down 
and why not at all cost? You know that he is a fugitive in a tow, and he will be put under Kona's custody and executed. He won't. No, he won't be. He doesn't know what he's doing. And call for a goddamn council meeting. Here is an. As a council meeting was called, as Fugaku was in this meeting. It's good to see you, Minato. I say it. I could have said the same about you all, but I'm not impressed. Where is my goddamn son, Naruto Uzumaki? As their eyes widen. Don't tell me, you all. As Tizune stood up. Minato, Kushina, all my years knowing you and you knowing me, you know that I, out of all of them, don't ever lie to you. Right? As both of them nodded. It's weird, but I just remembered that you had a child that we were supposed to take care of now, as all of their eyes widened. And they were quite shocked. What could have happened? Who could have done this? They needed answers. And there were just too many, too many questions that need to be answered by, for everyone, but nobody was there to answer them. They needed to find Naruto, the man who did this, and bring him to justice. It was a scary power, and the power that Danzo admired and wanted. Unknown to him, a masked figure was watching this from afar, as he had a blue eye underneath the mask. Soon, everything will fall in line soon. You will all suffer. As... The man disappeared with a dark flash. As we see, the masked person appeared in front of a hut that was deep inside the forest as he crashed down. And inside that hut we see Naruto, Fu and Gara who were shocked. Who are you? As he kicked Naruto, sending him outside. Naruto! He, Naruto heard Fu yell. As once he dashed towards the hut, he saw that Fu was about to be stabbed. Naruto with all his rage bounced upon the masked person as the masked person and Naruto were thrown outside of the hut to the other side destroying the hut altogether as Fu and Gara escaped with what little supplies they could gather as the hut caught on fire because there was a fire burning in between them who are you and what do you want Naruto said punching the shit out of the masked person as the mask cracked as Naruto saw a bit of its face two whisker marks and the third one barely visible. Oscillated blue eye, blonde eyebrow, and blonde hair. As the moss person chuckled, <laughs> everything in due time, boy. You will find out. And once you do, you will make a choice. The right one. As the moss person disappeared with a black flash, as Naruto was panting, Naruto! Who, who was that? I don't know. I don't know who he was, but that man is dangerous. Uh, damn it, I think I broke a rib or two. We have to get out of here and train. As Naruto tried to walk, but he fell down. Naruto, said Fu, as Fu was also in a lot of pain, and so was Gara. As the three of them lay together, as their eyes closed and they were asleep, and unto them a connection was formed as they were inside the realm in which nine beijus gathered as Naruto woke up as he saw all the beijus there and their jinchurikis as well as Naruto saw that Fu and everyone was awake and so was he as he was looking at all of them where is this place this is a sanctuary for all of us beijus I do not know how you all got here but we need to discuss something important since we all are here, said the nine tail fox. As the other Bijus listened, what is it that is important now? said Matatabe. I think someone is out there trying to change everything and for the worst. What do you mean? I I have this feeling that this isn't supposed to be how it go. Everything is being controlled. We are being controlled. I don't know what you're trying to say, Kurama. Maybe you have gone, Snile. Do not speak that name in their presence. 
they have no right to know that name yuki ah but you can speak mine huh said the octopus ox calm down ya fool <sighs> oh boy okay fine what do you mean by that as a moss person appeared there as in his hand was an orb and inside them were trapped nine beetles hello everyone name is naruto uzumaki nice to meet all of your acquaintances oh again i forgot to add that one <laughs> impossible naruto said as who and gara were shocked what do you mean i am your future y- you can't be you can't be you try to kill them oh for you to be toughen out already you weren't supposed to even meet them both of them were supposed to die out i just let them here because they were your close friends and turned them into your siblings because you have a more taste which is bitter when you lose them by my hands i wouldn't kill them oh but i will why i don't know what happened to me but i didn't wouldn't turn into a bastard like you <laughs> oh but you did this world it did it did everything to us everything in the end led to us all the misfortune all the trials all everything all that bullshit for a single prophecy for these god forsaken awful people these greedy bastards and i was the one who was doing the hard work sweating and getting almost well close to that well i did die twice but yes you know what i'm trying to say it is a shinobi world don't give me that lecture okay i'm not here to listen to that lecture then what are you here for well one reason only destroy chakra once and for all it has caused too much trouble for me i want everyone's chakra excite for me to be gone even yours but wouldn't it be i know i was quite mad when i found out that it taking away your chakra will take away mine so i made you a ghost so nobody will remember you make your life tragic make you more savage so you have to train work hard while i in the future will enjoy i wouldn't turn into a bastard like you not in a million years <laughs> oh you silly boy but you did i don't know how but i will tell you just not now not now and all of you big dudes I have you here or your counterpart here. Sooner or later you will join them and I will have the superior form of the videos consumed by me and then the age of shinobi and Otsutsuki's will be over. <laughs> As the man disappeared in a black flash. This can't be good. I can't believe I that is not you Naruto. Who said? As Gara nodded, that is not you. They're right, Brad. I am the one who stuck with you in your head. You're not him. Something must have happened for him to be this twisted. But that guy is not you. That much is clear. I, no, just be wary of that guy, all of you. And your Jinchurikis as well. All of them nodded. And then... They woke up. It was morning already. I have to go. You too. Here is the money. Here is everything. I I'm taking just a few kunais and my katana with me. Naruto, what are you? What are you doing? We were supposed to. I know. But maybe it is for the best if I leave. If my evil counterpart comes here, it will be only after me. No, Naruto. We're in this together," said Gara. We usually often remain quiet. We. are in this together we are a family we will do this our way or die trying snarto shed tears i i see while on the other side everyone was searching for nardo and his evil counterpart was enjoying this hmm. everything is going as planned what do you think old friend as Sasuke Uchiha came there as he was riding a dark cloud. Hmm. I still think that what you are doing is wrong, Naruto. 
we after becoming evil gods after consuming the shinigami have turned sour and evil and you have taken the most baddest out of all of them i know i know why are you playing the, this universe you know that you have changed way too much and harmed yourself way too much why are you doing this for fun sasuke for fun I know you, Naruto. You wouldn't do this. Just tell me the truth. You're not evil. Stop trying to act like one. <sighs> the reason I'm doing this is because those people, they, they don't deserve me. You guys never did as well. I have tried so hard. To make things right for each and every one of you and at the end it doesn't even matter all you do is just cause war and fight and cause plush yet and i have enough and i'm gonna start with you old friend as sasuke and naruto fought once again but this time naruto wasn't trying to save him sasuke was killed and brutally as we see evil naruto wake up from his dream <laughs> You still haunt me to this day, huh? Damn it. But I guess you will become irrelevant soon. As Evil Naruto got up. As he then picked up his kunais, which were the devil's flying raijin. As he pocketed them. As he was going to go today and kill off all the Osuzukis. As he arrived on the moon first, taking out Tonari as well as Kaguya, once and for all finishing her off. As the sage arrived, Naruto gogged his eyes out and snapped his neck as he moved forward to finding out Ishiki, Momoshiki and Kishiki, tracking them down the same day and killing and murdering them brutally. On the other side, Naruto and his team has reached back Konoha in search for answers. When they were found and were taken in, to custody by the Anpus for questioning, as that is when Naruto met his family, the real one. <sighs> I'm, I'm happy to see you, son. Where were you? I was um away, running away, I guess. Why did you come back then? I asked Yenma. What? He said, looking towards his kage. It is a part of the questioning. Only one reason. To find Danzo, to find answers. Danzo, but he told us he lied. He knew all along. He knew about me, Fu, and even Gara, and Sai. He knew about every one of us, and he lied to you. I see. As that is when Danzo was called and captured, and stripped from his titles and powers, and his root, Narda took care of him them personally. As on the other side, after killing off the Otsuzukis, Naruto, the evil one, arrived at the Karski's base, killing off them and turning towards Zetsu. Hello, Zetsu. You played the biggest part. In my previous life, I couldn't kill you, but this time around, I'll torture you. <laughs> Who are you? I am Vengeance, as Naruto stabbed through his heart, killing him and brutalizing him for two whole days. As Naruto was covered in all blood, as he wiped his hair. <sighs> Good riddance, Naruto said as he got up. As he was about to leave, the visage of his family appeared, who were killed. Killed because of the fear of the people. His wife and daughter tried to protect their son. Killed. The son who was affected by the Otsuzukis. A clan who was much more of a disease, and him being the seventh Kage couldn't protect them. He became enraged. Everything inside of him was broken. His own friends turned against him. And he turned against the world. Destroying the, them. Killing them. They forgot who he was. The god of Shinobi. Kurama or no Kurama. He will be the supreme one now. As Naruto with heart and eyes shook his head and moved forward. Today he will harden his other self. He wouldn't allow himself to get attached to anyone. So once his other self kills him, he will be 
the one who will be replacing him, becoming the cold, hard shinobi that this world wanted. And this world will get it. Narda's wing of saying fuck you to all of them. As after killing of the Kotsky, Narda was marching. Just marching towards Konoha. As he entered the gates, he started to cause havoc, destroying and killing everyone left and right. As he stood in the center, his father, his mother, himself, all there. Hello, everyone. No, Naruto? How can this be? <laughs> Naruto said with a smirk. Easy. When your family is killed in front of you by your loved ones, you get to be turned into this monster, I guess. The shinobi system is a failed society, the one we need to put an end to, and that is why I'm here. As the young Naruto then said, I will not let you do that. <laughs> I was just like you, full of life, full of conviction, until it was taken from me. Everything, everything I wanted to achieve was taken from me, I worked hard for, was taken from me. And now I will do the same for this world. As the dark Naruto rose into the middle of the year. As his eyes closed and opened, turning into the blue Rinnegan. As he, using his friend's jutsu, destroyed the whole village. Kirin. As five dragons appeared above the five villages as they were all destroyed. As the people somewhat were able to survive. As Naruto just stood there. We have to do this now. As Naruto then landed, fine then, as a red barrier appeared, you and I will fight. If you win, I will stop. And the only way I'll stop is, let me remind you again, if I die. As Naruto and him started to fight, his counterpart, the evil Naruto was winning and the good one was losing. But Kurama and Naruto started to work together. And that lasted only a few minutes before the evil Naruto had the upper hand again. Weak! Pathetic! See what Bonds does to you, turns you mushy and soft. I was like that, and I am disgusted by myself. My daughter, my son was killed by them. And so was my beautiful sweet wife. All for what? For chakra, for power, for their sake. As Naruto then said, well, I guess you should be joining them soon. As he brought out a rusted kuna and stabbed the evil Naruto and straight in the heart. Evil Naruto chuckled as black blood fell out of his eyes and mouth in new chunks. Good. Good. As all of the negative energy started to flow through into the younger Naruto. Shit. It was his plan, said Kurama. Damn it. Now you are the true shinobi that I wanted to be. Thank you. Thank you for making me win even if I lost. I will never let you win. Naruto, what are you? <laughs> I told you I had a plan. As he grabbed that kunai and stabbed himself straight through the heart as well. Killing himself as well. No! What have you done? Why would you do that? You had a whole life in front of you. Life full of glory. Life full of... I don't want that, you piece of shit. I don't want anything. If they are trash, I have proven them that I am better than them. By not choosing the path that they wanted me to choose, either turn out like them or be my own person. And I chose me. I chose to be me. And dying is my choice. Because I will save these piece of shits so they can remind me and tell their children that how much of a legend I was. <laughs> Screw everything else. I'll go out as a glorious warrior then, if everything is damned to happen like this. As Naruto fell to his knees, as one of his hands was on the grass, as he was coughing out a huge amount of blood. You bastard. You destroyed everything. My hope for revenge. <laughs> Revenge is a full man's game. Nobody should follow that. As Naruto fell down, Kuna stepped and dug deeper into his heart and came out of his back. Ugh, Naruto said, Listen, 
I am Naruto Uzumaki. I am my own person. I will change my fate however I deem fit. Always remember that. As Naruto's eyes closed, life leaving his body, and so did his Pichu. As Fu and Garavarti once were there, as his family or so-called family arrived there, don't you dare step close to him, even though you might be his parents and all, but you left him here, his our family. As Kara sat wrapped around both of them and Naruto sat what in sand and disappeared. Nobody after that day saw anyone. And as Naruto's last words, the world saw Naruto as a new hero, as a new statue of him was created. And the stories of him were told to the children, and the children looked out up to him. And Naruto, well, <laughs> there are many evil Narutos out there who was inspired. And so was the one who was here. But the cycle shall continue on, as this has just given birth to many other universes as a branch of it. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys. I hope you liked this one and if you did then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And yeah, I know it's quite a different story from what I usually do. Call me mad if you want to because it is quite a confusing story in general and I myself was confused while making this. Well, it was my brother's idea and he wanted something like this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and without any further ado, let's end this video here. As this is Apollo Chiha and I'm signing out.